Hello, and I greet you in the awesome name of Jesus. Today we're talking about cerebella issues. The mnemonic is Danish pastries. First up, a quick joke. Which pastry is the most religious? It's the donut, because its holiness cannot be denied. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, when you speak of cerebella disease, uh, science is Danish. The D can stand for dystatocokinesis or dysmetria. A speaks to ataxia, and it's good to differentiate cerebellar ataxia from vestibular and uh, sensory ataxia. Sensory ataxia, we know, involves the posterior columns. N stands for nystagmus, I for intention tremor, S for scanning dysarthria or staccato speech. H can stand for hypotonia or hyporeflexia. We're looking at different etiologies now of cerebellar disease. The mnemonic is pastries. So P, we ask the question, is this a paraneoplastic cerebellar syndrome? A is this alcoholic cerebellar degeneration, which is quite common, right? S is a bit, kind of like a misnomer because S is actually sclerosis, which stands for multiple sclerosis. T is a tumor, especially a posterior fossa space occupying lesion. R is for rare cerebellar syndromes, the likes of uh, Friedrich's ataxia and ataxia telangiectasia. I stands for iatrogenic, especially in the setting of phenytoin toxicity and also uh, amongst your ARVs, efavirenz can also cause cerebellar issues. E is for endocrine, and mainly hypothyroidism, so be aware of that. And S stands for stroke or brainstem vascular event. So guys, quick fire again, cerebellar issues in terms of science is Danish, so dysteatococinesia, dysmetria, ataxia, nystagmus, intention tremor, scanning dysarthria, staccato speech, uh, or hypotonia, hyporeflexia. In terms of the etiologies, pastries, paraneoplastic, alcohols, multiple sclerosis, tumor, rare issues, iatrogenic issues like medications, especially uh, phenytoin and efavirenz, endocrine, hypothyroidism, and stroke. Yes, God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.